A big thanks to Napoleon Grills for sponsoring this episode. G'day guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make the juiciest and tenderest ribs you've ever had from the gas grill. I got some beautiful belly ribs. Look at these. Absolutely insane. But these ribs, they are a bit of a waste product. When the butcher takes the animal apart, they take off that beautiful pork belly that we love so much. And then what you're left with is this. Of course, we still got a little bit of meat on, but not too much because that's the way I like my ribs. I like to be chewing on that bone, got a little bit of meat on it. And this, to me, is absolutely beautiful. Just look at it. Oh, I'm gonna show you how to cook this up, how to make it tender, how to make it tasty, and it's such an easy technique. First thing that I'm going to do is take a knife and trim up this beautiful cut of pork. I want all the floppy bits to be gone. Of course, I'm going to check both sides and then I'm going to take off the membrane that's on the back of these ribs. Some prefer to leave this on, but in this case, I like to take them off. I'm going to be cooking the ribs on our Napoleon Phantom Grill. This thing is a beast. When you turn on all burners, the thing, well, it, it, it nearly lifts off, but it becomes so hot. The other day we had it running with three burners on, the dial went all the way to the other direction. It was like grilling on a charcoal grill, but but on gas. It's like crazy. This thing is an absolute beast. And that's why this is the one that I'm going to be cooking my ribs on. Because let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to use a tray. I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to turn on three of my burners. Set them to the lowest position to start off. And now here comes the good part, my favorite part. We're going to add half a pack of butter. Yes, that's right. And no, it's not going straight to your veins, so no, it's not unhealthy. It's just going to make things taste better. There we go, half a pack. Let that melt. And in the meantime, I'm going to prepare some fresh ingredients because this is going to be so good. Starting off with onions. Three of them, because we want plenty. Onions go so well with ribs. Add the onions to the butter. There we go. Oh. Dude, I haven't been drinking, honestly. I haven't had a sip, nothing at all. I'm clean as a whistle. It's just the human error. Of course, we're not going to leave it as it is. We want more flavor. So we're going to take a bulb of garlic. We're going to add that to the tray as well. Now we all know what the garlic does, but this is lemongrass. And the lemongrass makes everything fresh. Now I know it's not being used a lot, but it's been used in a lot of Filipino recipes, Indonesian recipes, and this stuff is amazing. The only thing you gotta make sure is that you break it up a little bit so it will release flavors more easy. Add that to the tray as well. There we go. And finally, we gotta have some ginger, just a little bit, not too much. We don't want the ginger to overpower things, but it's also gonna give us like a, a lemony flavor to this mixture. There we go. To finish it off, some salt, some honey, there we go. And now we're going to let this simmer. I'm gonna close the lid, let the butter melt, and let all of the flavors come together. It's been around 10 minutes and the onion turns soft and all of that ginger and garlic is coming out. The fragrance is insane. If you could smell this right now, you would just put this on a sandwich and start eating. Maybe a little bit of cheese on top, but we're not gonna do that. We're going to make it even better. We're going to use this to cook the ribs in. Our beautiful pork ribs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in meat side down. Just like that. Look at it. Sitting perfectly on our beautiful onions, garlic, ginger. And I'm not stopping there. We're also going to add some beer. There we go. Beautiful dark ale. Nothing better than that. I'm going to let this come up to a boil and I'm going to seal it off with some aluminum foil. And all I want is a slight simmer, so I'm going to turn the center burner off and I'm going to let the outer two burners do the job. It's been three hours in the scorching sun and our ribs are done. Let's take a look. Whoa. Just check that out. That soft syrupy bubble that's going on, ribs poking out of the meat. If you are in doubt that the three hours are enough or you're thinking they're done earlier, the way to check is with a thermometer and just probe the meat. And when it's soft and tender, look at that. It just falls through like butter. Then you know it's really done. So it's time to take these off. 
Look at that. <laughs> Gently now, otherwise they might fall apart on you. Now we got these beautiful ribs and we could eat them as they are, but you don't got the typical barbecue flavor. You don't have a char, you don't got smoke. So what I wanna do is make sure we get that. So I'm gonna make a barbecue rub. Starting with one part salt, one part paprika powder, one part onion powder, and a quarter part garlic powder. Mix that up and sprinkle it on those beautiful ribs. And now they're ready to hit the grill. Now I'm grilling on full throttle. All three burners on, ribs on, and let them char up on both sides. We wanna see a little bit of that fat render down, get a little bit of the bubble going. Just look at that. I wanna eat it right now. <laughs> they're so awesome. Look at that, they're almost fall apart. Like, just like, I could tear them up. Of course, I wanna take a look on the inside of these ribs. Real careful though. There we go. Fantastic. Good looking ribs and super, super tender because we can cut them up, we can tear them up. And then we got that final touch. Look at this. Oh yeah. And this is the barbecue sauce that I made out of the beer broth. All of that beautiful juice from the ribs and the beer put into a big pot. Added a cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of Worcester sauce, a tablespoon of honey, and two tablespoons of our barbecue rub. And I mix it up and put it on the side burner of a Napoleon grill. Once we hit that syrupy bubble, I knew it's done and I put it in a jar. And now you're looking at this insanity. I can't wait any longer. Morrison, I know we normally do the taste test right now, but hey, I can't wait for you anymore. Mm. I'm sucking it straight off the bone. You got that crunch, a little bit of the char. It's so flavorful. But what I'm most excited about is the actual beer flavor that's in these ribs. Definitely not a waste of good beer. You can't make ribs on a gas grill. Yes, you can. You guys didn't thought that I had the chance, right? You guys, you guys thought that I was being skipped. No, no, no. No, no, no. I got the double dip now. Mm. It's a whole package straight away. It's like you, you grilled your ribs and the beer was already there. It's been there all, all along. And then the extra flavor from the barbecue rub, I love it. I love it. I'm gonna keep on eating. But you're not feeding the dog? Not feeding the dog? What do you want most? The, the ribs or the bone? Yeah, you can have some meat as well, man. Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. I wanna thank all the patrons and the YouTube members. Please make this at home and um, eat smakelijk. And keep on grilling. <laughs>